I'm going to show you how you can enable ICMP responses on Windows devices. So if I open a command prompt and try and ping one of my devices, we'll notice that it doesn't actually respond to ICMP requests currently. So if I come over to that device and then open up the Windows firewall by pressing the start menu and typing wf.msc, this will bring us into the Windows Defender Firewall Management Console. And under Inbound Rules, we can right click and press New Rule. Then we can create ourselves a custom rule, select All Programs. And then under Protocol, we can select ICMP version 4, and then we can select Next. If we want, we can lock this down so it only responds to requests from specific IP addresses or subnets. So for instance, if we wanted to lock it down to a specific subnet, we can select these IP addresses and add the various addresses in here. I'll just leave this at any IP address, and then we can press Next. We can then allow the connection because we want to allow the ICMP response. We can select the profiles we want this to be enabled on, whether it's the domain profile, the private profile, or the public profile, and then select Next. And then we can give it a name such as ICMP, and then press Finish. And now we've got our ICMP inbound rule. So if I come back over to that first server, and then run the same command again, we can see that it is now responding to ICMP requests. We can also do the same thing using PowerShell. So if I come back over to our firewall and then disable this rule, I can run PowerShell as an admin. I can run the commands new dash net firewall rule. Then we can do dash display name, and then we can give our rule a name. So I'll call this ICMP inbound. And then we have to select the direction by doing dash direction. And then we can either be inbound or outbound. I want this to be an inbound rule. So I can just type inbound. Then we have to select the protocol. So we can do dash protocol and then type ICMP v4. And then finally, we have to do action, whether we want it to be allowed or blocked. So if I do action allow and then run that command, it will give us the information about what we've just created. So we can see the display name is ICMP inbound. And here are the settings. So if we come back over to our Windows firewall and then just give it a refresh, we can now see we've got our ICMP inbound rule, which we've created. And then the protocols and ports, we can see that ICMP is enabled. And if we come back to our primary server, we can see that the ping is now responding again, showing that the rule we created using PowerShell is indeed working. So that's how you can enable ICMP responses on Windows devices.